Soil is a collection of minerals, liquids, gases, and organic matter that make up what you see beneath your feet. And what makes it good for growing plants are correct balances of all of those things I just said, of different minerals, of different nutrients. All of those balances are important to what make a soil good. When you look at soil, you're seeing a zoomed out image. You're seeing a starry sky from the ground. You're seeing something that has many complexities. You're seeing something that has minute variations from inch to inch of soil. When I look at soil, I see life. It's almost unseen to the naked eye, but there's a lot of life going on in that black dirt that you walk on. Balances of minerals, balances of nutrients, water, and even of microorganisms all create soil that's good for growing plants. And those plants are able to grow because of the life inside the soil. We need to cultivate soil because it doesn't come ready-made for growth. Nature has its own idea of what soil is to become. Different environments will create different soils for different areas. It gets it ready, but we have a part to play in adjusting minute variables in the soil that make it support life well. The best way to cultivate soil is to learn about the attributes of the soil itself. No two soils are going to be the exact same. They will all require different adjustments to the soil's nutrients, to the soil's minerals, to even the water levels. But every single one of those soils will require care and attention. You have to get your hands a little dirty to get the soil ready for growth. If we don't cultivate soil, it can starve from lack of food, it can thirst from lack of water, or it can be choked by weeds and become stunted and die.